Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. Welcome back to the channel. My name is George and I own your apologies because I didn't upload any video on Sunday. If you were expecting something for homemade ingredients, I'm so sorry. I couldn't manage to do the video because I had some uh, family, no emergency, but uh, duties which I kind of uh, took my day away and I couldn't record anything because I don't do like a pre-batch recording. I do record my videos a day before I upload or sometime in the actual day before I upload. So with the working behind the bar five nights and uh, having a kids in a summer holiday during the day and everything happening, uh, I kind of uh, mixed up this Sunday. But things happened that's life so today I'm back with a two cocktails not one but two just to compensate a little bit and both of them is based on gin and they're fantastic refreshing cocktails for the summer now why I'm taking on two cocktails now this is uh, I was thinking to do just one of them but then I realized there's a cocktail based on the first cocktail so I wanted just to show you how taking one recipe and just tweaking few few things and uh, maybe add one more ingredients or two you can create something totally new and totally fantastic let's put it this way if totally fantastic it's any sentence I don't know however the original cocktail which I talk about it's a south side and it's based on gin with the mint leaves with a, a fresh lime juice and sugar syrup and then there's another cocktail which take inspiration from the south side and this is the Eastern Standard. So both of them use gin, both of them use mint, both of them use sugar syrup and lime juice, but the Eastern Standard is using a fresh cucumber instead. And also there is a little difference in the measurement. So this is also giving a little bit difference in the test of the cocktail. So let's start with the south side. On the south side, it requires 60 milliliters of gin. I'm using today Kokoro gin, which it's Kokoro, Kokoro. I think it's Kokoro, it's pronounced proper. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. It's a fantastic London dry gin, but it's using fresh Sanshu berries from Japan. And they are like a very nice because the Sanshu berries, they have a little bit like a peppery and citrusy flavor. And it's very, very lovely, working fantastic with the gin. So 60 ml of this gin, this is the original cocktail which I mentioned earlier, the south side, and then I'm gonna show you the one inspired by this cocktail. So 25 ml of a fresh uh, lime juice. So we're gonna put 25 ml in. There you go. Where's my coaster? Let's put my coaster here. Seven mint leaves, so seven, okay, no eight, no six, seven. Give him a little slap to release the oils. And drop inside. We're gonna shake them so we can release even more of the freshness from the mint. And finally, we have 15 ml of simple sugar syrup. Now, as you can see, we're going kind of a if you following mixology and if you're interested about these things, we talk about pretty much like a, a sour cocktail, gin sour, and we talk about pretty much of the classical ratio four to one. So you have four parts of spirits, you have two parts. This is just a little bit under the two part of the sour, which is the lime juice, and then you have one part of the sweet, which is the sugar syrup but then you add the mint and you change everything and this is how the south side is gonna come to life so ice give it a good shake and it's gonna be double uh, strain because of the mint we don't want them in the actual glass let's give it a shake good shake so we can break the mint and release all the flavors from the mint leaves oh beautiful beautiful so I'm gonna serve this in a one of my favorite cup glass it's a very oh very fragile 
but I love them. So double strain definitely so we can stop any small particle of the ice and any of the mint leaves break. There will be probably one or two drop inside from the mint, the very small, but this won't affect anyhow the test of the drink. Okay. And for the garnish, I don't know if I have my fix here somewhere. I wanted to check if it's a... Uh, I don't think I have them at the moment. But all you can do is just garnish with a fresh mint leaf. You just put it on the side like that just to float. And that's it. That's the south side. I will try after because I want to make the comparison between two of them. So let's do the Eastern Standard. Pretty much the same guys, but this time we're gonna lower down the amount of gin just with a 10 mil. So it's gonna be only 50 mil of gin. And I'm gonna pour this in my small shaker because something else is gonna happen in the big one. But let's first put the ingredients ready, okay? So we have lime juice again, but this time it's only 12 and a half. So less than what we used before. It's just to bring some citrusy flavor to the cocktail. Now, here is a part which it's very important. Only three mint leaves. We don't wanna go heavy on the mint. And this is where we're gonna introduce the cucumber. So get a slice, pretty much that thick, that, what is it, around one and a half centimeters. You have to peel this, you can use uh, the, the peel, it has to be just the flesh of the cucumber. And then split this into a three circles. Put them in the shaker, get your muddler, and give it a good muddle, okay? Now, I will suggest uh, get a good cucumber, don't get something greeny or kind of a dry. It needs to release some of the juice and the cucumber water inside. So you muddle this together with the mint leaves. So you release a little bit of the juice and the flavor of the cucumber. And you, you, you see what I'm getting there, okay? This is gonna be a fantastic fresh drink. Both of them, it's wonderful for the summer. They are beautiful summer drinks very refreshing however this with the cucumber i think it's my favorite but shh, don't say to anyone okay now we're gonna pour all our ingredients on top of it ice and you know i like to follow recipes but since i'm a bartender mixologist i like to do my own spin on them so there's two options uh using a sugar syrup, which I'm gonna use for the purpose of this video. And this time it's only 10 mil, not 15 like in the previous recipe, only 10, just to give a little more sweetness and push this cucumber flavor out. However, you can buy yourself a Monin or any other brand cucumber syrup. And instead of using a simple syrup, you can use cucumber syrup. This is gonna give even more flavor of cucumber. Or if you don't wanna go the sweet side, you can get the bitter truth, it's called bitters, and they have cucumber bitter. And this time I'm gonna drop a few. Now, what this is gonna do, just the two, three dashes, this is gonna bring the cucumber flavor out, but it's not gonna introduce any more sweetness to the cocktail. It's gonna keep it on the sour and bitter side, and it's gonna be just beautiful. So let's shake it. I'm getting excited about this. Again, really good shake so we can break the mint and we can break the cucumber even more. It's just wonderful. And one more of my favorite glasses, that's all I have. Three actually, but one of them is really small. It's for a very short cocktails. Uh, double strain again. So we can stop any of the cucumber and mint and anything going in. We just release the water and the flavors and the oils. 
As you can see, it's exactly the same color. It won't change anything, but the difference in the test is gonna be, I think, how to put it, a, a level up in refreshment compared to the other one because of the cucumber. And of course, we have to garnish this. Now, let's get creative. Get your peeler, get your cucumber. We don't need that on the top. We need one in the middle here, lovely. There you go. So when you have a strip like that, you can simply roll it around your finger. Get a lovely fresh mint inside and a cocktail pick. Go through it and just put it on the side of the glass. I'll see, I think I'm gonna have to cut this on the bottom. Yeah, and there we go. Oh, come on. That's it, and this is the south side. Now, let's try south side first. Wonderful. If you love gin, if you love collins, if you love sours, this is something for you because you get the proper gin kick and you get this freshness from the cucumber, a lovely freshness from the mint. And it's just on the very, tiny side of the sweetness because of the syrup that's all it's not that much syrup inside now let's see so this is the Easter standards with the cucumber and this is the south side that's the original that's a one which take inspiration from the original Ooh. now you see this one it's still have this lovely refreshment but it's have a little bit more kick from the gym because it's 60 ml. However, we have more sugar syrup here and more lime juice. So you're getting this lovely balance like in the sour cocktails, which is kind of like a sweet and sour with a kick from the gym. It's just wonderful. And with this gin, it's worth fantastic because as I mentioned, have this, how they call, I keep forgetting, Sancho berries, which it's a little bit spicy and citrusy. So they introduce a little bit more to the mix of this freshness and this is it guys uh, i think we're done for today thank you for watching thanks for being with just your steer and uh, if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i always plan to say this in the beginning but then i get excited about cocktails and i forget so i say it in the end and hopefully you've been watching till the end uh, if you like the video if you want to see more of these kind of videos taking on the originals and their versions and comparing them Leave me a comment, uh, give me a suggestion to a cocktail, come on, I want to do something which you suggest. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you on Friday with another video. I don't know yet what, but I'm thinking of something kind of a vermouth based and introduce some nice flavored sodas and tonics. We still summer, so I think as a big fan of a vermouth, I think I need to start introducing them to you and uh, hopefully you start loving them as much as I, I do as well. So I'm off now to drink, not both. One is for my wife, as always, but the other one is for me. Uh, we'll see which one. Uh, I love you and I leave you. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.